All right, look. Cross hook. Roll. Hook cross her. Roll. Cross hook. Roll. Hook cross. Roll. Cross hook. Roll. Hook cross. Roll. Okay, and just keep going. Okay. Let's see how long you can do it for. You can do it for a long time. If you don't do it for, do it ten times. Ten times. So one, one uh, cross hook. Roll hook crosses one time. I want it ten times. Okay, go. I got my son Elijah into boxing probably around seven or eight years old. That's a lot earlier than I started. I started at 11 and 12. And the kid's good. You know, he's, he's somewhat of a natural. He grew up watching boxing. He's been a fan since I can remember, just like myself. He's really smart. He's a thinker. Boxers that are cerebral are better. They tend to last longer and become more successful. Don't load up. Don't pull back. Pull that shoulder back and come straight through with the right hand. There it is. Do it again and freeze on the pad. I am not planning on having him box as an amateur or compete at all. However, it is his decision. If he really wants to do it and he really pushes me to let him do it, then I'll let him do it. The reason I got him into boxing is because it's an excellent sport. It's excellent exercise. It's excellent for the mind, for the brain. And also, so he know how to defend himself, so he have that confidence, and so he has a, a high level of self-esteem as well. Don't rush it. Go. Get the legs involved. Back up. Go. Do it again. Get it back. Get it back faster. Get full extension. He's good enough to fight, to compete. He spars, and he does well. He, he beats ass, you know? It's so cool and weird seeing him just get so busy and so aggressive in the ring. I mean, but I was like that when I was young, too. This footage of me when I was 12 years old, fighting like a man. Like, I was like a little man in the ring, you know? So, a little switch of competitiveness turns on. There's something about boxing, two people standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, figuring it out. It's a noble way to solve problems, <laughs> if it has to go there, and handle it like gentlemen. But it's just an excellent sport. We're chess players, and boxing is, is like physical chess with high stakes. Step in with the hook, and then drop the cross. Look out, bring the back foot. So it's hook, step, and then the back foot comes. I like to see my son getting busy. I know his mother likes seeing it as well. And the world needs people who are, are physically capable of, you know, protecting themselves and others, you know? I think if more people knew self-defense and things of that nature, I think people would be a lot more chill. You could take someone that's aggressive that gets into fights all the time and put them in boxing or some martial arts or whatever, it will mellow them so, down so much. First of all, they have so much energy to burn off. They have a productive place to, to burn it off. It's like having a big sword. You don't want to walk around with your sword out. Keep it in here. If things get weird, you rattle it, let them know it's there, but you don't pull it out and, and flex on people. Same with when people that know how to fight. They're not projecting that on people and they're not ever aggressive. They will defend themselves and that's what I, I recommend people do. If someone invades your space, touching you or whatever, or bullying someone that can't defend themselves properly, that's when you step in. But other than that, never to be aggressive. And I teach my son that. Roll. Why don't you try to cross pivot? Ah, missed it. Missed it. Ah, nice. The reason that I don't really want him to compete is because his brain is his most valuable asset. I literally remember, no bullshit y'all, a point of a cognitive decline. I remember when I couldn't access thoughts fast as fast. I had added a few more ums <laughs> in my diction. And I remember something just wasn't the same. And I'm sure it was a concussion or two. You can have some kind of brain injury, but it doesn't manifest up. until a month later, weeks later, a year later, years later. So it happens like that. And I do, I can't attest to that in my case. I never, you know, abused drugs or alcohol or none of that in my entire life. I don't want that for my son because I love him too much, so much. 
his brain and his mind is so precious. He's such a good human being and he's so wise. So I wanna harness that. I don't wanna abate that in any way. All right, so today's workout, this is a workout that I highly recommend. It's very simple, it's very basic, but it's so, so effective. If I wrote it down on paper and gave it to you, you'd be like, this is too easy. But once you do it, it's a different story. I'm gonna let y'all do it with me. We'll do it together. All right, how about that? I'm gonna explain what it is though. You're just doing a kettlebell swing, push up, and bodyweight squats. That's it. Seemed pretty simple, right? All right, now, it's not the exercise, it's the way in which you do it. Rep ranges, uh, the resting time, those are the variables that will make or break a, a workout. And if you want, to be effect want it to be effective, those variables have to be adjusted accordingly to make it very difficult. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out with 20 reps of everything. 20 reps of kettlebell swing, 20 rep push-ups, and 20 reps of bodyweight squats or air squats, okay? You're gonna stop and give yourself a 15 second break, all right? I did 10, but I'm giving y'all 15 seconds. Listen, if 15 is not enough, give yourself an extra five seconds, but no more than that, all right? So you come back right into the next set. You're gonna do, you're gonna drop the reps from 20 to 15, okay? 15 reps kettlebell swings, 15 rep push-ups, 15 rep squats. 15 second break, come right back, 10 reps of everything. See what we're doing, we're dropping the rep ranges by five. The last part is the easiest. It's five reps, five reps of everything. And that's it, that's the workout for today. Y'all gonna do it with me though, all right? Let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, First 20 reps, not too bad, right? I know y'all feeling strong and powerful and mighty, but you just, the fun is just about to start, all right? So get ready, get your mind right. We're about to go right back into it, all right? Don't cheat on your breaks now. You ain't cheating me, you're cheating yourself. Let's go.
right, now that was the hardest one for me. I ain't gonna lie. For some reason, the second set is always a killer. But moving into the third set is not as bad for me, all right? So y'all get ready. We got 10 reps on the next one, all right? Get your mind right. Do not cheat, because you're cheating yourself, not me. Remember that. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so we're done with that. The hard part is over. It's smooth sailing now. Now you only got five reps, all right? You could be beast mode and do 10 and rep it out. It's all good, but I'm only doing five, all right? Get your mind right. Let's go. Let's get it. and sweet i like to be efficient with my time all right and i got a lot of things to do so i'll come in kill it real quick and then get out the gym all right so now this is not all you do when you're doing boxing training i highly recommend boxing training because even if you're not trying to be a boxer or a fighter it's going to get you ripped it's going to incinerate fat it's going to get your heart pumping get your lungs open it's excellent cardiovascular work see what i just did is cardio for that ass all right your body just knows activity and movement. It's not saying, wait a minute, this is not jogging or this is not a treadmill, it don't count. No, the heart rate is elevated and you're still going. That's what matters, okay? So I like to make my cardio and my conditioning a little bit more dynamic and more fun. I cannot do treadmills. I'll do it if I have to, but I like to be out in the, you know, in the sunshine, getting it in or at different gyms doing whatever challenging movements that I could do to get the heart rate up and get the body in shape, all right? There's so many different ways to skin a cat, and that's one of them. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Get your squad, have them do it with you. They're gonna think you crazy. They're gonna be like, nah, that's too easy. We'll, we'll smoke you in that. But you're gonna have a little advantage because you've done it already, all right? So anyway, enjoy, and I'll see y'all next, next go round. Peace.